you've decided you want to go ahead and switch from your current system to zero, but do you know how to enter your sales invoices that are unpaid at the date of conversion? In today's video, I'm going to show you how. Okay, you've chosen a date and you've started using zero, but you have opening balances that you need to transfer from your previous system. So I'm going to have a quick look to show you in settings. We'll go to settings, general settings, and we've got an option conversion balances. So what we will have done here under conversion date is we will have chosen a conversion date, a date we're going to start using zero. So we've said here we're going to start using zero April 2015. So that means that we need opening balances dated 31st of March 2015 to be entered. So we need our opening balances from our previous system. And here's an example of what we might have. Here's an age debtors report. It could be from a system like Sage. Now we're using demo data here, so we've only got half a dozen items. Clearly, you're likely to have a lot more than that. So these are the amounts that are outstanding at the date we've converted to zero. So what do we do with these balances? Well, we go to accounts and we go to sales. And then we've got an option, import. So we click on import, and then we can see step one, we can download a template file. So we're gonna to choose to do that. And then I'm gonna open the template. I'll just move it onto my screen so you can see it. There's a lot of fields on here, but the only ones we need to be concerned with are the ones that have got asterisks. If a field's got an asterisk, that means that it's required. So we need to get our opening balances from the report that we have onto this template. And I'm just going to show you how we would actually go about doing that. So here's the template file that we want to add our information to. It will be a CSV file, but I've saved it as an Excel file just so we can mess around with it a bit more. And I've highlighted the cells that we actually need, the one that ones that have asterisks. I've also pulled in the information from our old system, the age debtors report, just so it's easy to do a copy and paste. So you're possibly going to have two different files you're working with. So what we need to do is we need to get the information into the right fields. Numbers which we have here. And again, we will just paste invoice date, copy and paste. Due date we're not really concerned about, but we can see it's got an asterisk, so we need it. If I take that field and add 30, that'll give me 30 days and that's fine. Now there's a formula in there, I want to get rid of that formula. So I added 30 days and now I'm just going to do a copy and then I'm going to do a paste special and I'm going to paste to values. So all that means is those fields are now values rather than a formula. Description, I'm just going to put open balances. So if we refer back to it at a later date, we will know what's here. Quantity one is fine. So one is fine for all of them. Unit amount, I'm just going to put the value, total value, and paste those in as well. Okay, so account code, I've set up account code that's called sales open balances. And again, it's just so we can refer back to them at a later date. Copy and we'll just paste that into the other cells. This account code is not really that important because these transactions are prior to our starting date in zero. Tax type is referring to the VAT 
and we just want to type this in exactly as it appears in zero, which is 20% open brackets VAT on income. If you're not VAT registered, that would be no VAT. And we'll just have a quick look at the other fields. There's nothing else that we actually need. So we have our company names, we have our invoice numbers, invoice date, we've created a due date that we're happy with. We don't actually need a total because we've put values in description, we're just going to say open balances, quantity is fine with one, and unit amount is the total amount of the invoice, which will be included in VAT. Count code is 205, which is the new code we've created, and 20% VAT on income. Once we're happy with that, we would save it as a CSV file ready to import to zero. So now we're back in zero, we've got our CSV file ready to upload. So we're going to select browse. Going to choose my file. And then it asks us a couple of questions. Would you like to update contact address details? Well, we don't have addresses, so no is fine for that. Is the unit amount field tax inclusive or exclusive? So you will remember we added the total value, so it actually includes the VAT amount, so it's important that we select that. The first invoice was £360, so that was clearly £300 plus VAT. And then we just choose import. Occasionally you'll get error messages and you just need to check them. If you've got duplicate references or if you've got missing fields, you might get an error message. We're fine here. It tells us that we have imported six invoices and we just select complete import. So what you will see happens now is they appear in our draft sales invoices. We've got some other drafts in there, but we can ignore them. So we can select all six of them. And then we can just choose approve and OK. And there you have it, six items have been approved. Now let's go to settings and let's go back to our conversion balances. We've got a code for accounts payable. We're going to add a new line for accounts receivable. And we're going to input the value, if I can remember what it is for those invoices. And when I select save, zero is going to be happy. Now if that value was different and I selected save, zero would tell me that you've input opening balances to 4,100 but you've said that the balance is 3,500 so it does a check for you. I think I can just go back and I can amend that amount and I can save. And that is your opening balances of your debtors now included in zero. So when these people pay, you will be able to match them to your invoices. If you find that useful, give us a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you'll see the new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.